I do want to say this in light of the Clippers um, not having Kawhi Leonard or Paul George. I want to put this graphic on the screen and go to a little blast from the past into how we got here. This is what um, Arca on Twitter said genuinely might be the worst trade ever. When Paul George was traded to the Clippers, uh, the Thunder acquired SGA, Mm -hmm. a potential league MVP, J-Dub, one of the better up-and-coming young players. Mm -hmm. They also got Danilo Danilo Gallinari at the time, and they got Trey Mann in that trade as well. And if I'm not mistaken, they drafted Trey Mann? They drafted Jalen Williams, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. I think so. Yeah. And so they still got drafted. There's still more picks. There's still more picks. Yeah. The 2025 well, first round pick from Miami, the 2025 pick swap, and then the 2026 first round pick from the Clippers. I hate stuff like this though. And y'all dudes might kid y'all, y'all dudes gonna roast me for this. And the reason why y'all gonna roast me for this is because it sounds like this right now. I want you to rewind the clock back to the 2019 2020 season when the goat when when the Toronto Raptors mm-hmm. are coming off an NBA championship. They had just won the NBA championship the year before. Not only did they win the NBA championship the year before, Paul George was a first team all NBA performer and a first team all league defender. I got a kid in SGA who you don't know who he is. They didn't even get Jay. And Williams yet. Gallinari is Gallinari. He's still good. Yep. I have an opportunity to get Paul George yep. and Kawhi Leonard on my crew at that time for these draft picks and an unproven SGA. Are you doing it? If you're not doing it, Penn, at that time, you're fired. Well, I'm they also sorry, but that he wasn't that, that was, Paul George. first of all, that was a very heavily scrutinized trade at the time. It yeah. took a lot of convincing. It took a lot of convincing. And, and the only way that Lawrence Frank got Steve Ballmer to buy into this was don't think of it as this is what you're paying for uh, for Paul George. Think of it like you're paying this for Paul George plus Kawhi Leonard. Mm-hmm. Flawed logic on a on, on couple sides. Number one, you're assuming a lot. You're assuming the championship teams just gel like that, and they don't. They don't gel like that. No, we they have don't. looked at data through no, history on championship teams. There's continuity that comes into it. You can't just assemble a team. And it just goes from nothing to something right away. There's a there's growing pains. There's playoff scars. There's losses that have to happen. Sure. There's chemistry. There's role players. Usually yep. teams that get very top heavy very quickly, which is why yep. I'm so impressed by the Sixers. They usually deplete their depth. Now you need confident. a year. Before you go any further, Penn, 100% confident that same logic that you're using with me, I'm 100% confident I saw the Lakers win the NBA championship with Anthony Davis and LeBron James. They threw that unit together and they won the NBA championship. The Clippers are thinking the same thing That is that the time. exception to the rule. And, the, and that's and what the, they were thinking and, and, with the Clippers. But but you don't you don't you don't make such disastrous moves with ex, uh, with exceptions disastrous. in mind. Yes, this is a disastrous move. Not, not, not the. I, I just don't want to. I, I think it's bad now. I just also want to remind people at that point in time, Kawhi Leonard was in best in the world conversations. Kawhi Leonard and numero uno was having While his way with the NBA through a season in which he was load managed by Alex McKechnie. There is very projectable, very real conversations that you could have had at the time that Kawhi Leonard is going to have a pretty short shelf life as a top ten player. Okay, that's why. That's why they were the PG he, right now, he, so they, he, they can get it over. And, that's why they were the trying way, to win the right there on the. They spot. literally sat that's there facts. every single game, and they, they didn't. And they, they, they didn't have like time. Pin, they, they didn't. They didn't have time. Pin, just like what you're saying. The reason what you're saying is the reason why they did it. In my opinion, I think mm-hmm. they did it because they know Kawhi don't got much time. We don't know what these kids are going to turn into. Let's go get Paul George right now. On top yeah. of that, at this, in, I mean, in hindsight, Pin, you're a hundred percent, a thousand percent right. In hindsight, I think we can all see. Then I maybe she, it then, but at the time, no. at the time, I think that was the right move. On top right. of that, I'm 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 of the mind that what helps what helped um SGA a lot was Chris Paul. I think I think I think Chris Paul really helped SGA bring his game mm-hmm. together. Like SGA, I'm pretty sure SGA was gonna be amazing, but I think Paul, I think Chris Paul really helped SGA get his game all the way together. Mm-hmm. I think, and, and, that, and, and that that doesn't happen if he, do, you know, what I'm saying if if we, we we've got a present stuff. tense bias. We look at a Paul George right now as he's going to be Paul George forever, but we don't see Paul George as Paul George minus one year, minus one year, minus one year, three years so later. Can you wouldn't have made Paul that George trade was 28 no, years I, I old. I said it then. I wasn't going to make it. I wouldn't have made it. I you think I thought I, sh- I thought Shea was amazing in the playoffs. I thought he flashed incredible. Uh, Yes, swiper, please stop. I'm just I, you know what? I need to put a I need to put a sticker on the on the screen where your face is. So I just I don't, think I don't man, react you stop to it being anymore. So sensitive all the time because you always got something to say when somebody do something. 
and then you getting cooked on your own tape. I'm saying if you go back six years ago, that oh, wasn't the conversation man. about Kawhi at all it? or PG. He it was wasn't chill. Him. He was third Kawhi in MVP Leonard vote. He was third in MVP vote. And you got the finals MVP. You can get both of them on your roster for a bunch of young dudes in Gallinari. So right now, the worst, it, the worst it, wasn't, ever. it wasn't a bunch of young you know what? dudes. It was a the bunch Mello, of dudes who you don't even know. Right, you don't even it was know a bunch are. of draft picks. The Mello trade was worse than that. wasn't even a conception. Trey Mello was a conception. You still don't even know who 2025 is going to be. Exactly just so you know, just so you know, Penn, they had get, with Bridges. Just, just, just so you know, no, it's not the same thing. Just so you know, Penn, they got they got J, they got J Dub with the number twelve pick in the draft. Well, years later, they got him with the, they got. We don't know who they, we don't know what that pick is going to be. We have what? no idea what that pick is going to be. On top There's, of that, I have an opportunity right now, which I'm one hundred percent confident. Even though Doc Rivers loved SGA and he saw the potential, if I have an opportunity to get the, arguably the best player on the planet and another guy who's coming back, to what we thought uh, another guy who's coming back to what we thought he was going to be, and I can get him mm-hmm. for a bucket of extra Christmas. And they were and you chill, chill. Guess what? They were right. Because in the Western Conference, when that when that season was going, before everybody went down into the bubble, they were working everybody. They were the prohibited favorite. Well, well Swipe, but that's the, that's the only reason we're talking about this like this. It's obviously because of injuries. It's obvious injuries. But and because of the bubble, yeah, there was, a, there was a worldwide pandemic that happened that literally shut the season down, that changed how the season was going. Do I think that the Nuggets would have beat them? Maybe, possibly. I don't know. I was happy they did it. The Clippers were the bona fide favorite to win the NBA title going into the playoffs. If for a reason, bona fide. For a reason, bona fide. We got six men in here. If we're being honest, Penn. Let me take a page out of here. Bona fide. Since we're yeah. sitting here being honest, no, I can weren't. honestly say in the 2019-20 season, I was looking at the Clippers going as as a James guy. I was going, if you can avoid those guys, I think you can win it because I didn't like that matchup with them at all. I, I mean, if you. If you if you, if you if you if you have if you have the if you at, at that time, chill, just like what you just said. If you if you look at what what Paul George had just came off of in OKC, mm-hmm. you look at Kawhi Leonard, what he just came off of up in Toronto. Mm-hmm. If it's known, if it's known by owners and everybody that my GM could have put that together and installed it because he didn't want to lose SGA and some right. picks that we don't know right. about. Get your shit and get out of my building right now. I'm talking about, I'm talking about, don't leave mad, just leave. Go, get your shit fired. and go. You, you're out of here. The best general managers make deals that are not necessarily popular, me, but will work out later. Okay. Sure. You have you have Jerry West, who traded a borderline all-star center who was still very, very good for a very long time in Vlade Divas. Because he saw potential in a 17-year-old named Kobe Bryant because of a private workout, partially, partially. Hmm, why are you taking head? What? It's not the same thing. The reason why it's not the same. Give me history lesson. The reason why it's not the same thing is because exactly what we just got finished talking about. Kobe Bryant, he sees him in five years. It wasn't right now. We have to do this with this Toronto. With the, it with didn't this, take Kobe with, five years, with, Joe. With this, L, with this LA Clippers team. With this LA Clippers team. This thing has to work right now. This thing doesn't have to work in three or four years. Jerry West didn't get Kobe Bryant on the crew expecting this thing to By the be way, what, what did right the Lakers now. do with Vlade Divac that, right before that? So right before Kobe gets drafted and the trade happens, what did the Lakers do with the playoffs? I don't in remember. 95, 96. I don't remember the 95, 96 playoffs. I don't think they, uh, they were – they they, go ahead. They lost, go to, they lost to the Rockets in the first round of the playoffs. They weren't doing anything. Vlade Divac okay. was a very good player, was getting older, and they said, you know what? We want to load up, get a young getting guard. Older. How old was he when he got traded? What is he, 20, 28, 27? 27 oh, yeah, 20, he's, 29? He's, he's borderline retired. He's all, but we already know he's what he in is. His we prime. already knew what Vlade Dude, did. We already knew what he was. Yes, he wasn't one of the superstar bigs in the league. He wasn't. So they said, we have a vision. We want to get a younger player, a younger asset. We're going to get off him. The league? Sure. Yes. Okay. Well, what does that what does that okay. mean? Would, would David you Robinson, tra- Hakeem, would you Shackle? condone? Stop acting like it's obvious. Would you condone trading a top ten center today for a thirteenth pick for to draft a seventeen year old high school? Kid? If you're trying no, to win you right now, if, if, if you're they trying to trying win, to win right, right, right now, now, yeah, you're right. You're right, Marcus. If you're trying to win right now, no, absolutely not. But that's not what the Clippers did. They, they were trying to win today, and they got they got two is, they got two of the eight best players matters, in the league. Man, people got sight; they don't got vision. When when you look at what Jerry West has done, even even in Golden State, where he chose to stick with Steph Curry <laughs> yeah, so over Monte Patrick Ellis, Sherman. yo, that wasn't a popular decision at the time. Monte Ellis clears apparently. Monte Ellis was clearly the better player. Warriors fans man. were upset. Hey, man, Are we Monte kidding? Was him. It, it was Monte obvious. Was that boy. It was obvious to trade Clay Thompson for for Kevin Love. That was an obvious trade, right? It was obvious, and Jerry and Jerry West said, "I will quit 
if you if you split this up that's Man, vision right. people get paid that's millions no of dollars hurry. not to be reactionary they but to have vision so the problem hold together. on stop man just stop they you had Jeff Shea Gilders Alexander in, Mate, in your in the building court together. you had Shea Gilders Alexander in your building the sure. very fact that Sam Presti wanted him as a centerpiece of a deal centered around uh, Paul George should have been a red flag like hell to you <laughs> it's not a surprise to anybody that Shea Gilders Alexander became very good it's a surprise that he became a top five player hell yeah that's a surprise it's a surprise that he became better than Paul George that's a surprise but it is not a surprise to anybody that he became a really good player because in his first ever playoff game in his first ever playoff series he actually showed like he belonged and that's not normal and Kentucky guards we can go through the history I'm saying it's defensible that they did it but don't act like it wasn't a mistake just because of hindsight and whatever don't act like what the Lakers did or what the Celtics did in 08, 09 is the norm. That's not how it usually that's works what, out. But no, that, that's a fact, Penn. And we did live in that era where the quote unquote super team, that's how it was, that's how it was built. And on top of that, I mean, it didn't work more than it did, but it did work. It worked but with being a prisoner of the moment, on, show you have to understand it, it how work. they did it with Kawhi. Right, what, what I'm saying is that it did work with the Celtics, it did work with the Miami Heat. It did work in Cleveland. Uh, now, Jill, there was, there in, there was one common denominator. In the summer one... of 2019, Kawhi Leonard was having air traffic controllers follow him around the country to see where he was going because that was the biggest news of the summer. Kawhi Leonard coming what off of the Raptor anything? Championship, delivering their only championship ever and dominating like he did. People do said, do whatever he does, it's going to be the biggest news in sport. And so Kawhi Leonard, when he goes to the Clippers, he tells them, the only way you're getting me, bona fide Kawhi, who stopped LeBron, mm -hmm. who then took down the Golden State Warriors. The only way you're getting me is if you get Paul George. And so they said whatever by any which, means which, necessary. Hold on, getting, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Swiper. Which Paul George is Paul George at this time? Yes, this is this is right top, after the 28. What, top three DPOI? Top yes. three MVP or something top, like that? Yes. Top 10-ish ten, player in the NBA. This top 10-ish yes. player. You yeah. know what? Yes. You know what? If, if you if you if you've worked even a day in your life in, in the finance world, there, there's people that are bag holders, knife catchers, there's all sorts of idiot investors. You bought in on Kawhi Leonard coming off a historically good playoff run at the peak of his powers, and you imagined. What if he does this for us for four years? Never, ever thinking, what did the Raptors have around him that helped him do that? Let's not oh, give him that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We 100% thought that. That, that. In fact, that's why they signed him. In addition to him being the best player in, in addition to no, him being How can you assume that that, that that value stays static? It doesn't stay static. It, they were even better. The how were even better the, the next managed. year when Kawhi and PG were playing healthy. Oh, that's why. They were even better. better. The, the, the conversation yeah. around Kawhi being the best player. How many? Okay, now, now I want to I want to be real about something. If Kawhi Leonard misses that, if that bounce, 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 bounces out. Oh, the travel. Yeah, mm. you're not talking about Kawhi Leonard as the next Michael Jordan. Well, Embiid's conversation about his career is radically different as well. That's just the way basketball works. Yes, but that one bounce, bounce, bounce does not change the fundamental fact of who the player is. It's a bounce. What? Kevin Durant getting injured. He's saying Kawhi wasn't a better or worse player because a lucky shot went in. Yes, That's because he had a great series against Milwaukee. But if you watch the Milwaukee, if you actually watch, watch the Milwaukee series, he had this thunderous dunk. He came down, and he wasn't the same player for the rest of the playoffs. He limped through the rest of it. And, I, and kudos and credit to Kawhi forever he because he couldn't shut it down. Playoffs. He was limping in the playoffs before that happened. Hundred percent, he, he was the season. So and he and he and no. he had made it clear with the Spurs, that he had a degenerative knee issue. Right. The medicals were clear on him. His uncle is asking God knows what from every single team. They're leveraging maximum because he was at the peak of the world. So I, I don't deny where Kawhi's stock was at that moment. Just like I don't deny when a pump and dump goes up to $200 a share. I right. don't deny that. What I'm going to say is if you're a league executive, you have to, you, you can't just say this is, this is where we were in 2019 summer. You have to ask yourself, where the fuck were we in 2018 summer, 2017 do you, do you summer? Think the, what is the you, trend do you think line the going here? Still applies to like Timberwolves for trading for Rudy Gobert with all the first round picks they gave up. The I actually credit the. Uh, I think they overpaid for it a little bit, but let me let me let me give you the let me give you the other side of this. People don't understand value in the, in the proper sense when it comes to first round picks. First round pick value absolutely is linked to how good or how bad the other team that's trading for your picks thinks you're going to be. If you believe you are going to exceed expectations that the other team has, 
you could trade first round picks and be perfectly fine. I'm that's perfectly fine with it. Okay. And that's what the Minnesota Timberwolves did. They had a young 21 year old superstar that was not being talked about like a young superstar at the time. And they were like, you know what we need for this guy? We need a big and Rudy Gobert is about as good as he's going to get for the guys, for the guys we can get. Let's give up these picks. They're not going to be that good anyway. And you know what? Right now we just saw James Wiseman possibly tear his Achilles. Okay. Shit changes so fast. So fast in the NBA. One torn Achilles. Your favorite player, my favorite player, shit. It could happen tomorrow. Mm -hmm. it, it could. And, and the entire trajectory of the next seven years of your franchise is completely different. So sure. flexibility matters. So when you when, when we look at that pick, when we look at that trade, and we say LA Clippers versus this, what the Clippers did not only was trading Shea Gilders Alexander, not only trading the pick that turned into Jalen Williams, which is like whatever, 12th overall pick. It's not only all the other picks. It's not, it's not the it's the flexibility. It's because you are locking into this core. So the question then becomes, based on the last five years of history, is Paul George and Kawhi Leonard an all-in bet that you are willing to make at that point? And if the answer is yes, then great. They made a great decision. But if the answer is, I have doubts that this I mean, could this go sideways with one been, injury. They if, have if, the exact same thing for Kevin Love. So, I mean, I just that's just no, the way they that didn't. worked. They traded. No. They traded. Right, an, they traded Andrew Wiggins, which is the first old, first overall pick. They did not trade seven years of, of financial flexibility, and they had LeBron James. Can we be real about that? Mm. Here's, also here's my thing is, I, I, I understand like you have to make sound investments and you have to account for your future and all of that. But the the ultimate goal in the NBA is to win a championship. The ultimate goal is to construct yeah. yourself in a position to do that. If you have the opportunity to get two of the best players surrounded by a very good roster who yeah, the Bucks did we all Bucks projected did. to go deep into the playoffs. We all projected them to make a finals, maybe two. Some people even had them winning. It, at some point, on, you just got to pull the trigger. And on, at some point, that, Ron, and, and on top of that, back to the point of what happened in 2008 with the Celtics. What happened in 2011 with James going to Miami? I mean, there's a common denominator. That common denominator was James. The Clippers looked at Kawhi Leonard. He's our James. He's going to be the guy that's going to get us over the hump. Because we are, at the last I checked, you, you, you just mentioned in 2018, what the Clippers thinking? That was a playoff team in 2018-2019. We put and we didn't have to get rid of anybody, by the way. If we can get Leonard on this crew, if we can get Paul George on this crew, that was already a playoff team last year. This season, we are now in, a, in effect. And when I say we're in effect, we're at the top of the Western Conference, which they were, in fact. And COVID shut the season down. If COVID doesn't shut the season down, we're having a completely different conversation about this Clipper team. Completely different. And, 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 and Kawhi, I think Leonard, Kawhi is the level of player that you typically would be willing to risk that for. Like the Knicks yes. have done this. That's just what happens. Like they did this twice over the 20 year, 15 year period. Like those weren't players that you should have did that for. Melo, they shouldn't have done that for. Melo was not the caliber player. Kawhi was. And then the Nuggets ended up winning that deal. And then the last pick of that deal was Jamal Murray. And then the Nuggets get Jamal Murray. They won a title. But they gave up everything. They gave up Chauncey Billups. They did up Gallo. I mean, name it. They, 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 they got rid of all of them and got a host of the future from 2009 to 2016 from the Knicks. So there are examples of teams overpaying for players and then not getting it back. But I think for the Clippers, they looked at it, and I, which at the time made sense, and still whatever, it's just history's history. You're getting Kawhi Leonard, and you're getting Paul George to try to build this future to go forward. The Lakers were willing to do it. They are willing to offload everybody on the roster because their whole thing was they wanted to build around Anthony Davis, Kawhi Leonard, and LeBron James. So they would have sold their future too at this point. So I think if they don't get injured, if COVID doesn't happen, then, you know, it's what it is. But I just think, like, there's so many things we could not project about the next several seasons that happened over the course of human history, let alone the NBA. It's what made that trade what it is. And then, obviously, SGA becoming one of the best assets in basketball. I mean, he was all first-team All-NBA two years ago when they didn't win any game for the most part. And then he's first-team All-NBA, he finished his second in the MVP race, and he might as well win MVP this year. Like, that's just not something that traditionally happens. And, of course, there, Payne, there, I mean, if, if the Clippers knew that, they wouldn't have came off of him. If they would have saw that that was the trajectory of SGA, they wouldn't have come off the, that. But that's sure, the problem, they probably Shell. still would have, the though. Reason, no, they like, wouldn't you, have. The you, reason, you, if you it, knew this was coming, within two, three years, you knew SGA was going to be this good, you tell, no. you tell Kawhi, chill. Because you don't pass up on a superstar at 22, 23 years old, who you have team control over for seven years in exchange for Kawhi Leonard. I'm sorry. Kawhi was great. Kawhi is a top five player at the time, but he was close to 30. Just to do okay. Like or 29, 20, whatever, 29. You're not passing up on 21 year old at, at that time. The point here is what I was describing with Jerry West and the Lakers when they identified Kobe, they had him go up against Michael Cooper in a, in a workout and he gave him business. 
Sure. And they and they they talked to him and they knew him and they were like, you know what, this kid is worth sacrificing Eddie Jones, Nick Van Exel minutes, you know, living through you know some early struggles, air balls in the playoffs because they saw the vision. Because when you have a kid in your building, then you know what what's coming. That's your job. That's why you're getting paid millions of dollars. You're not getting paid millions of dollars to be me. You're getting paid millions of dollars to know what's happening and what's going to happen in the next three years within some degree of certainty. And if you miss it, if you miss it, then you get James Wiseman, unfortunately, or or, or Marvin Bagley. That and, and you can't do that. So you had an entire year of SGA in your building, which means you saw him work every day. You saw how hard he was chasing it. This kid is like next level work ethic. I talked talk to some of my friends who cover him in, in OKC. They're like, I've never seen an athlete like him. He's one of the most consistent athletes. He's been like that since he was a rookie. So you saw it, you saw it, and you knew what you were giving up. You knew, you had some idea, this could be an all-star. They felt that. Sam Presti wants him. He, Sam Presti's not a dumbass. You should, it's fine that they made the deal. I, they knew that they overpaid for it, though. Trust me, they knew, but they were right, okay I, with it. 